Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to completely replace your on-screen navigation buttons with swipe gestures. This is in the same vein as Paranoid Android's Pi controls, but it's actually a lot quicker and easier to use. Instead of having to drag your finger up from the bottom of the screen, then drop it on a target, you simply have to swipe up from the bottom left, middle, or right. The app that makes this all possible is called Swipe Navigation, and it was created by developer Sufi Kaner. You can download a free version from the Google Play Store, so search it by name to get it installed, then we'll check out the setup process. Now when you first launch the app, before you do anything else, tap this toggle switch at the top right corner. This will take you to Android's accessibility menu. From here, select the Swipe Navigation entry, then toggle the switch to On, and press OK on the pop-up. After that, go ahead and back out to Swipe Navigation again. From here, you can adjust the sensitivity and target areas of the various gestures. And like I said, the gestures are a simple upward swipe from the bottom of the screen. But there are three different main trigger areas. If you swipe up from the bottom left, you'll trigger the back gesture. Then the bottom center triggers home, and the bottom right is your recent apps button. So use these sliders to adjust the swipe sensitivity to your liking, as well as the trigger area, which is reflected by the colored bars at the bottom of the screen here. Beyond the basics, these little two green areas are for the swipe in gestures. If you start from there, then swipe inward, you'll trigger a fourth and fifth action. By default, these are set to search for the left edge and menu for the right edge. These actions, as well as the back home recents actions, can all be customized with an in-app purchase of 99 cents. But I mainly just wanted to show you the free features, so beyond setting up the sensitivity and trigger areas, that's about all there is to see here. Now next up, we'll have to do something about the existing on-screen button. Since this app is mainly about reclaiming screen real estate and replacing these big buttons with invisible gestures, we'll have to disable the on-screen keys. A simple build.prop edit will do the trick for this part, but to get that going you'll need a root-enabled file browser, which means that you'll obviously have to be rooted for this part, but if you need any help with that, just check out the full tutorial at the link in the description below. Then to get started, open your favorite root file browser. I'm using root explorer here, but there are several free options like fx and es file explorer that'll work just the same. From here what you want to do is navigate to the root partition of your device. After that, head to the system folder, then make sure it's mounted as read-write so you can alter the files in here. Then down near the bottom of this folder, you'll find your device's build.prop file. Long press it, then select open with and text editor. From here just scroll down to the bottom of the list and find some empty space that you can work with. You'll just need to add one line in here, but it's a fairly complicated line that would be pretty hard to type out. So I'd suggest heading over to the full tutorial from your phone, then copying the line from there, which is what I've done. After that, just paste the line into an empty spot in your build.prop file, and then you're almost ready to go. All that's left is to save your changes. Make sure not to skip this part, because otherwise it'll just revert back to the original. But once you've saved your build.prop edit, all you have to do is reboot your phone, and the on-screen navigation buttons will be gone. Okay, so now with the on-screen navigation keys removed and swipe navigation set up, you can already see that I've reclaimed a ton of screen real estate. But let's check out some of the gestures, shall we? In an app like Chrome, swiping up from the bottom left corner goes back a page, just like the regular back button. Then swipe up from the middle and it triggers the home button action. Finally, swiping up from the bottom right calls up your recent apps view. Pretty cool, right? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.